In this episode, we will take you on a fascinating journey into the world of gold production. Join me on this thrilling expedition as we unravel the intricate journey that turns this raw mineral into the cherished jewelry and objects we all hold dear. Prepare to dive deep into a world where countless tons of gold are extracted annually. Certainly, you've marveled at gold in its many forms, but have you ever pondered the remarkable journey it undertakes from the depths of the Earth to your very fingertips? It all began when a meteor shower impacted our planet, leaving behind a precious gift. Gold. Everything it brought remained buried until miners arrived, and the rush for this glittering precious metal began. The gold, in a superheated silica state, was forced up from deep within the Earth and crystallized in quartz veins. Nowadays, the majority of gold is found embedded in rocks as microscopic particles, invisible to the naked eye. Traditional tools for uncovering gold-bearing rocks have been replaced by a massive electromagnetic system, a giant metal detector that soars through the skies, emitting a signal capable of detecting magnetized sand and its associated components buried hundreds of meters beneath the Earth's surface. While aerial scanning is an expensive method, it significantly narrows down the search process. Once a deposit is pinpointed, drilling operations begins. Currently, gold is extracted from three types of rocks, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. This precious metal typically forms within hydrothermal veins, typically associated with quartz and sulfides. As a result, it is scattered throughout the rock's types. Due to its inherent inertness, gold is frequently discovered in its metallic state, occasionally in the form of substantial nuggets or pieces. However, more commonly, it occurs naturally as minuscule inclusions within specific minerals. To delve deeper into the subject, let's examine the second largest gold mine in the USA located in northeastern Nevada. This expansive mining operation consists of two components, one underground mine and the other an open pit, boasting dimensions exceeding 80 meters in width and plunging to a depth of 450 meters. On a daily basis, they extract approximately 600,000 tons of limestone rich or containing gold. In the blasting process, rocks are initially drilled before explosives, typically composed of ammonium nitrate blended with fuel. Each ton of ore may contain only 3 grams of gold, so a substantial amount of rock is required to produce a single gold ingot. Millions of tons of rock are processed to obtain a single ingot, requiring billions of dollars to extract this precious ore. But before we go any further, let's talk about the historical context of the extraction method used today. Ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians, Sumerians, and many others were already harnessing the power of gold thousands of years ago to craft exquisite jewelry, ornate decorative objects, and coins. Throughout the annals of history, gold has been mined and utilized by various civilizations across the globe. Let's rewind the clock to the 16th century. In 1557, a German miner toiling away in the mercury mines of Spain discovered by chance the so-called amalgamation. This procedure allowed for the extraction of gold or silver from ores with low concentrations of these precious metals. It simply involved pulverizing the rock with the aid of mercury. Centuries later, in 1848, a discovery in the Sacramento River, USA triggered the famous gold rush. Subsequently, in 1883, the Struben brothers, Frederick and Henry, embarked on the extraction of gold from the Witwatersrand Mountains in South Africa. Continuing with the factory process, it's now time for the gold to advance to the next stage. A giant shovel that can cost up to $20 million is used to load the trucks in record time. These haul trucks can hold up to 270 tons of ore, while the shovel can load one ton in just three movements. This efficiency ensures that a truck arrives empty and departs with a full load in just one minute. Then the trucks unload the ore, and it is deposited through the conveyor belt into a gigantic rotating drum. Inside, the rock is crushed into sand and mixed with water to form a kind of slurry. It is then sent to huge tanks for the next stage. A small quantity of cyanide is introduced to create an extremely diluted solution. Cyanide is one of the few chemicals capable of dissolving gold. Subsequently, small carbon fragments are introduced to capture the gold within the solution and separate it from impurities. This gold-laden solution then undergoes an electrolysis process where an electric current causes the gold to be deposited onto the negatively charged electrode, known as the cathode. However, open pit mining is not always a viable option for gold extraction. In such cases, the alternative is to venture underground, a significantly more costly and perilous endeavor. 
underground mining carries a number of inherent risks that must be approached with caution. Workers often find themselves in tight, confined spaces, which increases the risk of accidents and complicates rescue operations in emergency situations. In addition, the excavation of tunnels and galleries can weaken the surrounding rock structure, thus increasing the possibility of dangerous collapses and cave-ins. The potential presence of toxic gases such as methane in some underground mines requires additional safety measures such as detection systems and adequate ventilation. In addition, exposure to dust and chemicals under these conditions can increase the risk of occupational diseases such as silicosis. To access this underground realm, workers traverse a labyrinthine network of tunnels spanning approximately 80 kilometers, descending half a kilometer below the surface into a world that is dark and eerie. The subterranean environment maintains an average temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the mine boasts one of the largest air conditioning systems in the world to ensure a comfortable working environment. The extraction process for gold underground closely mirrors that of open pit mining. It begins with blasting, followed by shovels collecting the ore and sifting through the rock debris, which is then loaded into trucks. The truck transports the ore to the surface, where it will be processed and covered by a thick sulfide crust. The ore and water are heated to 224 degrees Celsius in a gigantic chamber where pure oxygen is added, and after being subjected to enormous pressure, the crust breaks and releases the gold. Whether extracted from open pit or underground mines, the gold ultimately finds its way to the refining room, where it's heated to approximately 2012 Fahrenheit degrees to attain a purity level of around 90% gold. Each ingot weighs 55 pounds, but the miners must process up to 8,200 tons of rock to obtain a single one. This mine produces approximately 26 tons of gold, valued at over $1 billion. The gold is then transported to a refinery where all impurities are meticulously removed. The gold undergoes the final stage of cleaning and polishing. The last step involves marking the ingots with their designated percentage of purity. The Federal Reserve Bank holds almost 25% of the world's gold supply, primarily within the New York Federal Reserve's basement vault constructed in the 1920s. Post-World War II, many nations chose this vault for their gold reserves, which peaked in 1973 after the United States halted gold convertibility for foreign governments. At its zenith, the vault stored over 12,000 tons of gold, but activity has since slowed Gold's enduring appeal transcends generations. Unlike traditional currencies susceptible to inflation, gold remains immune to endless printing, free from government control. Its rich history dates back to ancient civilizations such as the Romans who traded with gold coins. These factors underpin its reputation as a safe haven currency, a steadfast store of value. This intricate and awe-inspiring journey, from the depths of the earth to the refined purity of gold, unveils the remarkable transformation behind each precious ounce. We'd love to hear which facet of the gold production process intrigued you the most, and don't hesitate to suggest other topics you'd like us to delve into in our future videos. If you found this exploration captivating, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for our forthcoming videos. Thank you for embarking on this enlightening journey with us.